Well, we deal with this thing here. It's a full focus 2005. And you see all the lights coming. It's the very one. And I was removing the aftermarket OE <laughs> uh, um, alarm. If you notice here, I got two remotes. I disabled one. I don't know what is the reason to put two. And I put a new remote program. And, and, and it's working now. Uh, but the other one, this I got time disconnected. The little trunk button, it doesn't work, I had to figure it out, but with the remote works now. So probably the time I disable the extra box I put it on is for that functions. But anyway, I think our problem here for the dashboard, because it's intermittent, now it's I duplicated. As soon as I move the contact and the bag will be go away, I hope, you see? There it is, it start working. So our pigtail, I hope, it suddenly had to adjust it though. Uh, it go away now. The pigtail from the dashboard probably was pulling too much, and I had to raise the code from that uh, pump. Uh, it's I think a code from the. You see, it's crazy. It's going back, and I just touch it back and forth. So I had to remove this one, tie the terminals, probably clean it with the uh, electrical connector thing, and see if it's only the problem. If you don't have to weld it on all the circuits there. How to still help somebody who be crazy with the dash and uh, of course the speed doesn't work the rpms everything go when the fails let me try to duplicate it it's random uh, but it was constant i was playing with the alarm i had to weld it on back a few wires and the car is pretty good 93,000 miles only <laughs> and it 